Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to a new series that I'm uh, doing here on OBS. Um, this first one's going to be uh, getting started with OBS and hopefully they're going to be a couple of short straight to the point videos. So getting started with OBS, first of all, we're going to want to physically go to the OBS website, which conveniently I have opened up by here. This is available for Windows, Mac OS 10.13 and higher, and Linux. Obviously, being on a Windows 11 VM here, I'm going to be uh, downloading it via Windows. And as you can see, it is downloading here. Once it's downloaded, we'll install it. So it is now installed, and we are just going to install it. So let's just quickly run the installer here. And then you should see this uh, pop up here. It is just basically asking for uh, permission. Just hit yes. And then just quickly skip all the way through. You can change uh, the location if you want to. I'm just going to leave it default. But if you hit browse by here, you can select uh, your location that you want it to install it to. Just hit install. Let it run. As you can see, it's not too quick. But once it's fully installed, we'll be back. A lap was less than 15 seconds for me, uh, but there we go, launch OBS. And you can hit view the release notes if you want, but I'm just going to make sure the tick is still in launch OBS and hit finish. Now we don't need these in the background, just minimize them. And here is OBS coming up. And straight away, uh, it comes up here how you want to optimize it. So you can optimize OBS uh, for streaming. I'm recording secondary, so if you primarily stream to Twitch or YouTube, you can um, you know, hit the streaming one and then record in secondary, so then if like you only every so often do uh, YouTube videos. But if it's the other way around, if you more make recordings but you barely ever uh, stream, you can select the third one. Or if you want to um, only use the virtual camera, hit the bottom one. But I'm going to optimize this for recording, so like a YouTube video, since this is video is on YouTube we're gonna hit next and then it will come up with different ones here so 1080p monitor you can change that either 60 or 30 or you can select whichever one directly so I'm just gonna go either 60 but prefer um, six either 60 or 30 but prefer 60 hit next that is now optimizing OBS for you with those settings as you can see here and it's as simple as that now. OBS Studio has really worked really well on this uh, software. I've been using it since, I want to say day one, but I'm probably not. And um, I like it a lot. Um, I haven't used it so much lately, to be honest. But there we are. We are at 100%. And there we are. Final test results are in. Uh, so this is telling you what you can do. So you can render it 264, high quality, medium files, 1080p, and then outscale uh, resolution so output scale resolution that is and uh, we can upscale that just hit apply right so once it's installed uh, i've just done this a couple of times as you see there i'll just delete that in a second um i had to uh put the cpu cores up a few times because i uh, took a couple more cores on this vm uh, obs does require a couple of cores it's um you need to change the settings dependent on your system but First of all, we're going to go into settings, on about settings. And in output, you can see where it's going to go to. So I've set it to the desktop. As you can see there on the left, I've already tested with one. By default, it is MKV. You can change that to whatever you want. MKV, MP4. I normally do on my PC MP4 because I've had some issues with MP, um, MKV, should I say. So you got same as stream, uh, high loss or anything. And then under the, you can change your audio as well uh, here if you want to, but for now, we're just gonna concentrate there. So the base canvas is 1080p. That's uh, what the, your screen is. You can downscale it then to um, whatever you wanna do. So you could do full 1080p. Uh, bear in mind, you'll need more processing power for that. Or I'm gonna downscale it to 720p for this, the sake of this video. You can then also change your frame rate to 60, 30. Again, I'll downscale it to 30 for the sake of this video just to get um, this over and done with, but you can put that to whatever you want to do. 
Again, YouTube is only 30 FPS. Hit apply and hit OK. We'll go through some of the uh, other advanced settings in the future video. Under scenes, we want to hit the plus, the add button. So the plus symbol there at the bottom left. Then name will come up. So by default, there's scene. And then it comes up then scene two. I'm just going to hit desktop because this is going to be a quick video, a quick and dirty one of the desktop here. And now you'll see we got scene and desktop, but in the sources, we have nothing added for either of them. Hence why the display box is black. We're going to quickly delete the scene one. So to delete, you hit this uh, minus arrow, it says remove. It gives you a quick warning. Uh, are you sure you want to remove it? Yes. So now all we have is desktop. You can add as many scenes as you want, games, desktop, webcams, whatever you want to do down here, it's all up to you. We'll go through them in future episodes. Whatever you want me to do, let me know in the uh, comment section down below. So we want to add the source to this desktop. And once you click that, you see loads of different options of different sources that you can do. So for this one, we're just going to do a quick and do a display capture, but you can do game capture. Uh, you can put images in there. You could do video capture, so that'd be webcams, uh, capture card and stuff like that. So quick and dirty, let's just do a, a display capture. You, if you had any others, it will list them by here. So you can hit use existing and use some others. Or you can create new, rename it to whatever you want. I'm just going to do a quick and dirty display capture. And there we are. This is display capture one. If you had two, three, four monitors, you could change them by here. Um, under the display by there. And what we want to do is uh, we want to hit OK here because that's the monitor we want. But you'll notice it's coming out of the capture area. What we want to do is this um, this corner one up here. You can click that, drag it down, move it up a bit and drag the bottom one across. Now that will fully capture your display. Now you're basically effectively ready. But in the audio here, you've got desktop audio, so that'll display um, any audio that your desktop's coming, it'll bounce up and down there, and microphone. My microphone's been used by uh, my uh, streaming software that I'm using to record this, so nothing's coming up there. Um, but if you wanted to, you can hit settings, uh, properties, and this is where your microphones would be. Just select the one you want and hit OK. If you wanted to mute them, you just click that little icon, and then the mute comes up. Same with your desktop audio. And then all you do to hit record, you just hit start recording here. And let the start recording happening. And to see what happens, we'll just hit that and hit delete. And then come back over 10 seconds later, hit stop recording. And boom, that's now stopped recording. And at the top left, you'll see a new recording. If we hit play on there, we will see that there's my mouse moving. We'll go up. And then select it out, hit delete, and it's gone. So that's your recording that we just made. It's that simple. That's how you set up OBS on any system. Uh, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. What would you like to see next? What part of this module would you like to see? Do you want me to go further into sources, further into scenes, um, any further into settings maybe? Let me know in the uh, comment section uh, down below. And if this video is helpful, let me know. Thank you uh, again to my Patreon subscribers. Their names will be coming up at the top right-hand side of the screen now. I believe that is um, Celtic Lag and Rich Tech at the moment. So thank you both for um, your patronage. If you want to be like them, Patreon link is down below in the bottom. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Ciao for now, everyone.